This key line has a corneal, kind of a melting corneal ulcer, but it's got edema within the, so the, the corneal surface is, has uh, swollen up into the cornea um, because the stroma has also uh, been swollen as well. So we're gonna amputate some of that cornea and stroma, close it, and then do a conjunctival graft. And hopefully that will then create a scar that will kind of, um, it'll be opaque, but it'll be less opaque than what he's currently and increases vision okay. and increases releasability for returning him to the ocean. We're trying to save the eye. That's the, the goal of the procedure is to save the eye. We're placing uh, endotracheal tube basically into um, his airway so that we can help him breathe during anesthesia. So that way we can artificially ventilate him and deliver um, anesthetic gas to him. So these are the, the ECG leads so that we can monitor his heart rate. Ten blade and a fenestrated grape. I think this lesion is off to the side, so it's not going to even affect his vision. Okay. And it hasn't, probably hasn't been. How did it go? Good. So I did a little bit be different technique. I did a bulbar conjunctival graft. So I, okay. I basically did a, a pedicle graft here, and then basically transposed it down onto that mushroomy yeah. ulcer there. So I closed it. There. That looks good. So, looks yeah, good. so I think it, I have more confidence with this one over that third eyelid. I think the there's more vascularity in this, so I mm -hmm. think it'll probably do better. So that eye will eventually scar in that area. It'll have a kind of a gray, hazy scar to that cornea, but he'll be able to see out the eye just fine in long term. So what's going to happen with him is he's going to stay in a dry area until he fully, fully wakes up from the anesthesia. And then he'll be ready to go back in the pool with the other sea lions. He'll be, he'll be able to do just fine, you know, competing with all the other ones for food and that kind of thing. He'll be on medication for several days just to address things like swelling and just re healing of that eye surgery. But we would expect that he's he's going to eat right off the bat or fairly soon, and then um, just you know have a full recovery and and um, that'll all heal up within a certain amount of time, and uh, he'll be fine.